But um, uh, let's see here. I got some new. I got some new player uh, created ships as well. Uh, as Azura uh, sent me a new ship. I think Pie Boy might be sending me one too. So next Monday we'll definitely be doing player ships and math champs, of course. Of course, of, of course, Math Champ has sent me another ship to play in hyperspace, so I'm looking forward to that. But uh, we are doing the hard mode no pause today, um, so let's just get right into it. Let's roll, roll seven times, see what ship we start off with, and see if we can get some wins in today. So here we go, random seven times. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Oh God! Of course, it's a slug bee. Why wouldn't it be the slug bee? This amazingly awful ship. I think we, I think, uh, where did I rate this one? I think this is one of our F tier ships. I'm pretty sure Slugby is one of our F tier ships because it has, uh, no heel bay. It's boarding. Oh God. It's just, it's just bad. It's just bad. Uh, no, I want to ah, swap you there and you there save. This is, this is, this is, this is a bad one. It's freaking Slugby. So let me see here. How do we want to do this? Um, I'm going to start with both our weapons online. And the reason the ship sucks so bad is because uh, no heal bay for your boarding ship. And this boarding ship has two slugs, which is basically like two humans for boarding. So uh, this is, uh, and, and you got to do boarding micro with no pause to, to boot. So. Here we go. Let's hope we don't fight a bunch of auto scouts, I guess, or resultant shield ships. You only have 25 missiles. Oh man, my day was going pretty good, Dan Dan, and then I rolled this ship. <laughs> and of course, it's immediately an auto scout. Of course, it is there and there. Okay, at least this ship kind of sucks. Okay, that's a good hit. Gonna take four missiles to kill this guy. Oh, good doge though. That's a good doge. He can't doge, so that's good. Uh, when's the next time you want to try yourself on challenges? Um, I don't know. I have, I have, I am doing a challenge. I'm doing hard mode no pause. Hard mode no pause are my challenges currently. But if you're talking about like random challenges that people suggest and stuff, when I get enough of them to do it again. Um, very rarely I'll get somebody saying, here, you should do this challenge. I think I've written some down, but the biggest challenge of doing challenges runs is to keep thinking of new challenges. And uh, when you play FTL, like, every week, it's hard to keep coming up with new challenges. So I don't have any plan right now. So if you got a bunch of challenge ideas, you can you can let me know. What's up, Alvarin? How are you doing? Okay. Um... Do we start with, uh, we do start with slug repair gel we can sell. One, two, three, four, five, and then across. I guess we'll try this. Oh man, gotta take a little bit of a chance here. Yeah, I know, God, slug me, what a first ship. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Missile plus drone control. Two auto scouts in a row to start on this boarding ship, by the way, too. So, um... Oh, here we go. We need we need scrap. So let's do. Oh god. Okay, it's a combat drone. Oh Jesus! And he gets a triple hit to start off. What a what a what an amazing thing. That was a really good dodge. Oh god damn it, man! Wow, this guy has gotten multiple shots in a row. Twice now on our ship. What the actual hell, man? That is not cool. Don't hit my weapons. Okay, no O2. All right. There we go, okay. All right, that's offline. I need, um... I'm hoping I get some dodge training. Yeah, there we go. So we will have used, we started with 25, nine missiles to kill the first two ships. That's the other reason this ship is absolute garbage. Absolute trash and garbage map. We get a map with eight frickin' scrap, great. There's going to be a flack of the store, you can feel it. Uh, I don't know that I would want that, because I don't think I have enough scrap to buy it. I'd have to, like, sell everything. Which might be worth if I sold everything, but then I wouldn't have a heal bomb. So, I don't know. I don't know about that. 
Okay. We do have another store over here. So if I skip the store and went like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. We could do a sector one dive because it isn't a nebula. Um one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, it might be better to skip the store since because we got that. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, I think I was gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That would be a dive. I think it's actually better. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. To uh, skip the store since we see the second one and get as much scrap before we go to this other store. Let's do that. Uh, not as hungry as Rock A, at least. Well, it is if you only fight auto scouts. The reason it's not as hungry is because you have boarding. But if you get only ship sector one that you literally can't board. Oh my god. It's a crappy start, man. Oh, and it's a free shield hack. You know, just F you, FTL. With a heavy laser. Free shield hack with a heavy laser. Good dodge, but okay, we actually got his weapons offline with our first volley. This could have this could have literally just ended our run right here. This is unbelievably stupid RNG right now. Oh my god. Unbelievable. I we got really lucky that our first missile hit and took off both his weapons. Please hit. So three ships we've used uh, over, well, we'll have used over half of our missiles to kill three ships, because this ship is so stupidly bad. Yeah. All right, we got an A missile back there. So on this worst boarding ship, I, I think it's safe to say this is the worst boarding ship of the game. Is there is there any other ship that starts with teleporter that is worse than this? Fed C is really bad, but at least it has a Mantis to board with a Zoltan, I think. I don't think there's a worse boarding sh a worse boarding ship in the game than this. So, you can come up with a lot of challenges if that really is the only problem. Well, watch side Snivy, I'm 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 I have lots of content I can do in you in, in FTL, so if you want to come up with challenges, you're welcome to tell me them, but that's not really what I'm working on right now. I'm not working on challenge runs. What's up, Biohazard? Yeah, bad draw, and we've already fought three auto scouts. Oh, that's a really good pickup there. Missiles and free scrap. Three auto scouts, sector one, so we haven't been able to uh, board yet. Two, three, four, five, six. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. It's slug boarding absolute the worst. Yeah, yeah. He's got a heal bay. Ion boarding. All right, I have to deal with his borders first. I need to also kill... I need to kill weapons first. I need to deal with this guy. Oh, free... What do you know? Free... Engine hack there. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay, he's going to heal. Please hit, please hit. Perfect. And I need a heal bomb. I actually might need to move a bit here. Let me buy myself some time. All right, we did it. We did it. Okay. Thank goodness they didn't dodge anything. And thank goodness they don't have rock or mantis. First ship we can actually board. Still took three missiles, but... Okay. Hey, what's up, Trent? How's it going? It was going pretty well till I rolled this freaking ship. <laughs> but it's going fine, my friend. How are you doing? Uh, you don't have to. You're saying if you're in a lack of a good challenge, then then you are my poke man. I don't know what a poke man is. Uh, are you my, my Pokemon? Am I going to summon you and it's super effective? <laughs> That's cool. I, I might want to do challenge runs again at some point, but I, I feel like we have a good mix of modified modded ships plus... Uh, vanilla FTL that we're playing right now with the hard mode no pause. If I get super frustrated and don't want to play hard mode no pause, I might take you up and try to come up with some more, uh, some more, uh, challenges or something like that. I'm gonna guess we don't get this quest. Well,
six, seven. Um, we'll have to decide if we want Guaranteed Ship Fight or the quest. We'll have to make that decision. Yeah, heal bomb only heals your crew. Yes, if it if it healed enemy crew, it would be the just. It would be hands down the worst weapon in the game. It's already like one of the bottom like three, I think. Please don't give me another map. Okay, good. Scrap. What's up, Gulars? How are you doing? Lisa wasn't a rocket dude. Yeah, was Lisa wasn't a rocket dude. Rocket boy. All right, we got a store coming up. I'm hoping we can make something happen with this. Uh, all right, your ship is not crazy strong. We got to deal with another board. Oh, but you are running. Okay, that's pretty bad. Okay. Shoot your weapons once while we deal with your border. I should pull one guy, then we board, and that should kill. Uh, bring the other guy. As well. Okay, thank goodness. He's hit our doors twice. Okay, we do this. That pulls them. We have a heal bomb. I want to use this as late as possible. Actually, I'm going to have to use another one anyway, so I might as well just do it now. Thank goodness they didn't dodge. Okay. Uh, heal bomb seems like a waste of bomb, especially in a ship that may that mains missiles. Well, they I don't I don't actually know what the developers were thinking when they designed the ship, honestly. Because if they wanted to make it a boarding ship, I have no clue why they decided to not put a healing heal bay or clone bay on it. I, this the ship seems like it was designed by a poor by by a viewer who was trying to create a viewership with an idea and didn't think their idea all the way through. Because the ship it has bad offense and it runs out of its offense. So at least Rock A, it runs out of his offense, but the missiles it has are strong. I mean, as good as Artemis is, it's not a good only weapon. So no multiverse this time? No, Adela I'm not going to play until a week from this coming Monday. We're not going to be playing like multiverse all the time. It's going to be a, a bonus thing we do occasionally. Right, but the Vortex was a great idea. Which one's the Vortex? I don't I don't remember the ships by their actual names. Uh, you don't think that devs realize how unbalanced missiles were, are? Maybe. All right, let's see. Backup battery. Ooh. They do have clone bay, and they have some boarding type crew. Okay. That's the NGB. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of bad ships, so... If Heal Bomb didn't use a missile, you think it'd be quite good? Okay. So I'm pretty sure we just always buy Clone Bay here. Next question is... And we always sell this. Do I buy a system or do I buy a crew? I think, I think we do want to... Kind of commit to the boarding here. If I sold Heal Bomb, I could get Rockman and Mantis, right? Yeah. I think I think we do this and we fully commit to boarding here. Clone Bay, Clone Bay helps a lot. And these crew help a lot. So we're gonna we're gonna fully commit to the boarding strat. Now now, see if this was if this was the starting ship minus these two slugs, then this ship would actually be really good because Mantis Rock boarding with Clone Bay and an Artemis that'd be great. So this is kind of what the ship should be. I feel like uh, Heal Bomb can miss. That could end quite bad if that happens. Oh yeah, it can miss. It can miss. Never to recruit slavers. Another reason why it sucks. Board here. Do that. Take out his missile, hopefully. Okay, no dodge, but we need no dodge for him either. Okay, good. Only one missile. Beautiful. Woo! And all of a sudden, this run looks juicy. The, give me that NG. We just got, in two jumps, a Mantis, an NG, and a Rock dude. And they all walk into a bar and say, get wrecked. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Okay, now we, um, now we clone, I don't think we need to clone the rock, clone the rock, dude. 
He loses one fighting training, but that's worth being at low health. Okay. Uh, needs reloaders for the inevitable inevitable flax. No, we're not we're not investing in a reloader when we have crap like this for weapons. That would have been a waste of scrap. I think I think going all in on the boarding was the correct play here. Funny how we need to buy two new crew and a system to turn this boarding ship into a boarding ship. Yeah, that's that's a good description of uh, the slug bee. That's for sure. Now we only need human for blue options. Oh, wait a second. We're not playing uh, multiverse. Just, just need some non-missile offense. Well, yes. Artemis is... If I'm going to have only missile offense, Artemis is actually good, but... So I could get the quest and commit to a non-ASB dive. I believe this was an escort quest, so it's what? One and three, it would be a ship fight, a store, or free rewards, I think? Missiles aren't bad on boarding ships. Uh, a mantis or rock dude, an NG walk to the bar. The rock dude doesn't consume liquids, and the mantis ate the bartender, but at least the jukebox work <laughs> works now. <laughs> nice, nice. Um... With how well this run's going, I feel like a dive, even a nebula, could just destroy us. And I only have the one shield, so... This is actually a pretty good start. I'm gonna not take the dive. Zoltan controlled. Zoltan shields with my boarding ship would be terrible. Don't have long-range scanners for the Uncharted Nebulas. But, Nebula, let's go there. So I don't need the level 2 piloting, because, uh... Clone Bay would give us blue option for that, uh, half-power event in here. I think we want to work towards second shield next. We have seven power. If I get one more, that won't give us an extra in, in, a, in a half power nebula, so. Yeah, as old and shields or auto scouts are my choices. Kind of kind of right. But I kind of would take auto scouts because at least if they don't have a missile, I can board them and just clone my dudes. Okay, store. Long range scanners would be really nice, and I have exactly enough to get that. Okay. Damn. It's the second hull repair we've seen in two stores. Okay. You want to buy any missiles or anything? Nah. Nope, so far we've had a store that doesn't have anything we can get and an empty jump. Let's hope we're better than this. On that note, a custom event where you visit a space bar called The Dive would be fun. Yeah, that'd be fun. Okay. Oh crap, he's got a defense drone. That completely shuts down our offense here. And he's got... Okay, I have to do this. I have to board a second time. Because of the defense drone. Please kill him, please kill him, please kill him. God damn it. Four crew, man. Okay, we got one down. Oof, almost got him. Oh, God, this defense drone is just shutting us down right now. Got him. All right, got that human. Okay, shields are down. I cannot believe these weapons have not lined up. I cannot believe we took no damage there. Okay. Wow. I can't believe a basic laser plus heavy laser never timed out. That is actually mind-blowing to me. Uh, that's why he gets salty when the runs are bad. He doesn't have toilet paper. What? What's up, Shogi? How are you doing, sir? I have no idea what that means, Goularts. What? Okay. Oh boy. All right. All right. That was that was scary, but we survived, and I do have. I do have enough to get second shield. Let's do it. That would have guaranteed we didn't take damage against that fight. Okay. I don't have enough power for boarding, but that's okay. Take power of Artemis or O2 to board. Oh, and there's our. 
thing. Oh, of course, of course. Okay, no clone bay at least. All right, so do we need shields? We do. This sucks for us right here. No pilot. All right, clone bay's dead. How has our Mantis gotten so low, by the way? Oh boy, how did our Mantis get down to 4 health when he was 1v1 versus a human the whole time? Come on, Mantis. Don't be doing me this way. Didn't killing drone control being smarter than shields that fight? What? What are you talking about shields? I'm confused about your word choices, Gulars. Are you talking about the previous fight or this fight? The last fight, I went in the shield room because I had four crew. And that was the only four-person room. And if I was going to kill those guys before they healed back up in the heal bay, I needed to kill... I needed to have four people fight them. Yeah, I know that drone control, and I would love to have taken it down, but they were going to go back and forth to the heal bay. Did you not see what their crew were doing? That's what their crew do, does when they have a heal bay and you board them. They run back and forth the heal bay. We're talking about this ship. I don't... I shot the missile so the missile wouldn't do damage to me. Okay, so you're talking about the previous one. Well, it was because... It was because it was a four-man room, and I could get four people in the shield room. That's why I was in there and not the drone control. I don't think I would have ever gotten the drone control down, because with two people in there, they would have just rotated their humans back and forth, and I would never have gotten the system down. Uh, I have just enough for power. Okay, all right. And an auto scout. Can't do damage to me, okay. Excuse me. Um, I'm thinking about boarding here. Can I get any systems down? If I board and piloting, should be able to do that. Okay. Um, poor crew. Poor crew. Alright, so now we can't dodge anything. Three more missiles. Alright, alright, we'll do that. Alright, I will have six missiles left after this fight. I could do this very slowly and bored and Nah, I just conserve my missiles, but I'm gonna I'm gonna not do that. I'm too impatient. Got a missile back, that's good. I really do need to get a weapon though. As great as Artemis is It's 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 just the missile weapon is is just it's just not good. It's just not good. You run out of missiles. You just run out of missiles, man. Wow, lots of empty jumps this sector. Not cool, man. Not cool. Chase them? Damn it. What's the time window for powering clone bay and not lose crew? Do you have to power like immediately to not lose time or can you wait till the end of the fight? You have to power like immediately to not lose them. No, you can't wait till the end of the fight unless you have an augment called backup DNA bank. You have like, it's like a second or two, maybe two seconds at most between the time that they die and you need to start the cloning process but for them to not die. A few seconds? I don't know about few. It seems like, like two seconds at most to me. Uh, so we didn't, I guess we got, we had a store up here, I guess. Oof. I thought you were supposed to have an empty jump store in, 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 uh, Uncharted Nebulas. Nebulae. Oh, you're including the death animation in yours? Okay. Alright, missile, clone bay, teleporter, okay. 
Only single mantis to board. Okay. Gotta get this missile offline, then we try to get the clone bay offline. That's a fire from shield room, that's fine. Damn, okay. Uh, do I use one more missile? No, I'm gonna just hope we dodge. Probably vain hope. Okay. Please don't get another missile off. God damn this game. I hate that delay right there. I hate that delay and the fact that we don't get a free dodge like they do. Okay. If I can get... Nope, I don't get to leave. It's a bullshit game. It's so dumb that they get free dodge after the fight's over, but you don't. I absolutely hate... That's another mechanic that I just think is stupid and imbalanced in this game. They get a free dodge after they've surrendered. You do not get a free dodge after the fight's over. Makes no freaking sense, man. Ugh. Ugh, such, an, such a freaking imbalanced game. One extra damage because of that crap. Because you have to wait for the stupid clone bay to realize, oh, it can't clone. That's that. That's the delay right there. Whatever that time was between the NG dying and the fight ending, that's how long it takes for you to turn your clone bay on. Because that's that's the delay or whatever. Ugh. One extra free damage. May not seem like much, but could be a big deal. All right, we got to deal with borders, and they have a heal bay. All right, his weapons suck. I need to vent if I can. Yes, I can. I only need one shield here. Okay, he's gonna leave. I'm gonna shoot this. That'll not kill him. And that's a fire. Okay, that's great. For the rock to fight in. And then Mantis can finish him. Okay, that actually worked out pretty well. Good job, fire. Oh, why did I open all my doors? I must have hit Z instead of X. Whoops, I just vented my entire crew for no reason. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, that was that was a complete accident right there. Thank God for Clone Bay. I When did I... I must have... You know what, I probably hit Z an extra time instead of X like I meant to do. I was so focused on my boarding crew. Alright, uh, we know that this next step is always empty, so I'm not going to vent my crew. Reset them because we'll get a couple heals here. Monkey's paw. Wish the enemy doesn't dodge anymore when you crew kill them, so you blow up your own borders. Kappa. I have no idea what that sentence means. For end of S2, the sh ship is really starved. Well, it's it's good for boarding. It's kind of crappy for anything else. So we need NG free stuff is what we need. So we need like a free weapon or a store that's got a weapon that we can afford. Or something. And I wouldn't say it's starved. It's more like I chose to spend scrap at the store to buy two crew to make this a full onboarding ship. So uh, that last sector, I feel like we could have gotten a lot more scrap if we hadn't gotten so un unlucky with empty jumps. All right, accept their surrender. Wouldn't a heal bomb be nice after that venting? <laughs> hey now. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> Who would have ever thought of having a heal bomb on this ship? I don't, I don't even know what you're thinking about. Uh, you know we're getting a few auto scouts this sector. On NG sector? I hope not. Alright, side with the fugitive. Damn it. Okay. He's got defense drone mark 2 and a heal bay and 3 mantis. So, I think I can do literally nothing against this guy, right? And that's going to be a heal bay, uh, an NG heal bay too, right? The NG, whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, we can do nothing here, I'm pretty sure. Is there any benefit to telling them you're friendly? No, you just get nothing, as far as I know. This defense drone had to be really bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Of course he would hit my piloting. Of course he would. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Yeah, there's... I, I can't think of any way that we could kill that crew. Three Mantis, Heal Bay with NG Medbot Dispersal. I can't think of a single way we could win that fight. No, they can they can touch us. What are you talking about? Charge Ion means they can touch us. Even if the Charge Ion only hits once, they have a laser plus a mini beam. They can easily do damage to us. So that was a fight that we just could not win. Yeah. We're here. They they had multiple ways that they could do damage to us right there. That was a that was a much stronger ship than ours. Yeah. This guy, after we get the missile offline, can't touch us. But that last guy easily, easily could take us out. Good. Okay. Yeah, the only benefit to explaining your friendly is if you're trying to play a good a good alignment run, which, what's the point? You probably would lose because you don't get enough stuff. <laughs> okay, so we have a store. I got nothing to sell. All right, all right, let's, let's go store. Can I get a flak or a burst laser two or something? Chain laser or something. Drone recovery arm. Distraction buoys. The distraction boys. Send in the boys. Uh, if only we had gotten one of those uh, hull repair drones earlier. And drone control and drone recovery arm. We'd be in great shape. Sadly, we can't afford all those things. I think I need to do this and upgrade my weapons and then heal as much as I can. I mean... I don't have a f power. So actually, I need to do this. And then I just spend... God, I need fuel as well. We're gonna hope we get some fuel with our boarding. One, one, two, three, and then maybe fuel. Check out their store? No, I don't think we can afford to do that. Secure that cash, baby. That's what we needed. That's what we need. You always pick steel civilian supplies. You need the scrap. That's right. Okay. You have a missile and a heel bay and boarding. Okay. These ships are really strong. We're fighting. Good dodge. Please don't hit my clone bay. Good dodge. Okay, we killed that guy. There's a fire in there. Man, I didn't I didn't heal my dudes. Uh you know what? I need to actually board with these two guys. Fire. You can be DPS to kill him faster. Okay. Whoo! Yeah! All right. All right. We take a bunch of extra damage there, but that's a great reward right there. That was a great freaking reward. Burst laser two. Oh man, that feels good. Feels goodman. You clone these two guys. Not even a flak, though. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. It's true it's not even a flak. 
And since, since, I mean, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be really, really picky, not even a flack, though. <laughs> Pooper Slayer 2 talk about bad RNG. Hey, I didn't say that was bad RNG. The only bad RNG we've had this run. I guess the main bad RNG we, we had was the early uh, sector where we were only getting um, auto scouts. Um, it took us to f to get it took us till sector three to find a laser weapon, but this is it's definitely not not the worst slug B run I've ever had currently. If the game has a secret alignment counter that modifies the RNG, yeah, that's that's not a thing. Investigate. Truders on board. Look at this guy's weapons, man. Free borders. Okay. Can I dodge? Ugh, okay. He can dodge. I have three missiles left. There we go. That's a fire in there. Go fight in there so he can't repair that. Okay, we should have this. The clone bay up. Okay, nice. Slug dies, that's fine. Alright, beautiful. Fuel. Nice. Uh, this guy swamps. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're gonna have to go ahead and clone you. You know, we're gonna have to clone all of you. Everybody into the... Into the reconstructive clone bay. Vinfaz05, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friend. What's the next upgrade? Uh, weapons. Because I'm out of missiles, so I need to go chain laser plus burst laser. Yeah, store to sell our missile repair drone. Get chain laser plus burst laser online, and then maybe get some dodge. Uh, what's up, Nietzsche? How are you doing? Please report to the medical airlock. At your earliest convenience, which is now, or I shall kill you. Okay. Ami Reeler is very nice. Zoltan Shield Bypass is very good if we're gonna go, like, late game boarding, but... I doubt... That's the other problem with two-person boarding ships. Late game boarding is often... Pretty terrible and not really a viable strategy to go. I really want that reloader though, so I need to do this upgrade and I need to do power. It's gonna make us not be able to repair and buy as much fuel, but I think this is just too good. Small bomb is nice, but we just can't afford to do that. Just do that. One more power would be nice, but this is actually not terrible right here. This is not terrible. Distress beacon? Sure, we got uh, clone bay for giant alien spiders. I could have had two reloaders now. Yeah, I know, right? They're just pirates. I just... I just... What was I thinking to... To not buy an automated reloader when... I love when people say that, and it's like, do you remember what our other options were there? I'm pretty sure my other options was to get, like, Clone Bay and Crew or something, so. That saves me, like, three scrap, I think. Yeah, save me three scrap, so we'll take it. Zolden Homeworlds? I mean, if we get Zolden Shield, it'd be amazing. It'd be amazing. Store with no scrap and nothing to sell. How about no thanks? Aiming for a system next. Yeah, I need to get some engine upgrades, but system would be good. Oh, that's nice. Okay. 
One, two, three. We can get to the store just in time to sell that and get fuel. Oh, God. Cloaking missile. On an auto scout. God, I hate Zoltan Sector so much. Although this isn't like this is a. Just because it's a Zoltan Sector, but just. Just. Freaking stupid fight. Just this. Just this missile. Missile plus clone cloaking just makes this such a pain in the ass to deal with. Oh, thank God for dodges, though. I'm gonna I'm gonna go everything in weapons, even though I should probably go for piloting and cloaking. I need to get this missile offline. Doesn't matter. Doesn't fucking matter. I get zero attacks before he takes out my weapons, because this game is just stupid. <sighs> well, we were doing well, and then this fight with a single missile ends. Ends our run, basically. Yeah. One, two damage missile. Stupid game's over. Please don't cloak, please don't cloak. <laughs> he didn't cloak in time, but he just dodged everything. So it doesn't even fucking matter, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. Do I get for no engines? Yeah, thanks, Laner. Thanks. What a, what a nice, what a nice, supportive thing you just said. That's what I get for no engines. I love how there's no sympathy in Twitch chat. I try, I try not get frustrated when I play FTL, but when people say crap like that, I'm just like, why, why are people so mean? Why, why? It's just. That's stupid and unfair, and instead of sympathy going, oh, that's not fair, or that's bad luck, people, ha ha ha, you suck, ha ha. Oh, man. That's, that's, just, that's just not fun. Oh, man. Uh, heavy laser would be great, but I'm about to die and I have no fuel, and I'd love to get long-range scanners. So I'm going to buy it, buy all the fuel, and then do this. Oh, man. Three borders with the missile and a clone bay. Well, this run is just looking more and more over. Three shields in sector... Is this sector three? Sector three or four. Free three mantis borders. How fun. What a fun game. Aren't we having fun today? Having so much fun. So much fun. Okay, we got a fire in there. That's good. He's got a clone bay with his free borders, too. That's always fun. Okay. Okay, his missile's not back on yet. Almost got a crew kill there. Do, 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 Okay. Crew Deb has got Clone Bay. So we don't have a way of killing his crew. Sorry, people are harsh in my vibe. You're not the only one, man. You're not the only one. <laughs> uh, I, 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 try to, I try to not get salty in this game, and then bad RNG happens, and then I get salty, and then people just rub salt in the wound. It's like, oh god. I'm gonna try to just keep the positiveness, you know? <laughs> Wonder what happens if you wait at a store? Oh, what do you mean? If you wait at a store, you just lose jumps. Okay, distress beacon. Alright. Uh, I need to find- I need to go to Empty Jumps here to try to get Zoltan Shield Quest, but I'm almost out of fuel, so going to Empty Jumps is kind of bad, too. So... I'm kind of in a catch-22 situation going on right here. Much fun, very happy? Yeah. Much fun, very happy. Yeah, what a terrible deal. Thanks. Thanks for that. Alright. Zoltan Shield Quest, maybe? No. No. 
Three fuel and a dream. How about one fuel and no dreams? Well, oh, empty jump. Not Zolden Shield quest and no fuel. Cool, man. Cool. Just remember, Rand, you rock, buddy. Thanks. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. This ship is really strong. Okay, thank goodness for a really crappy hack up for us. But this heavy laser, too, is probably going to kill us. Oh, good dodge. Good dodges for him, too. I guess I gotta go for piloting. Doesn't matter if I shot a piloting last time in case anybody's gonna say I should have shot a piloting because he dodged everything anyway. Oh, God. Okay, level three piloting on this guy, by the way. Thank goodness our shields are up. Level three piloting. Always running away. Oh, and I have no shields. This is bad. Okay, and we got the wrong weapon offline. Hits my weapons. That's GG. That's GG. He's gonna run and we're not gonna get fuel. Oh, man. This run for Slug B actually started pretty well. He's just gonna, he's just gonna get out. I can't believe this is actually not left yet. Okay. Do, 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 do. Maybe try Stardew Valley so peaceful. <laughs> well, that's why I play games like Satisfactory like I did yesterday. Just just because I, I can't play FTL all the time. I just rage too hard. Okay, wow. I am amazed that his thing took so long to charge there. Uh, did we ever hear them out yet? Nope, we have not heard them out yet. And we don't have the option for that anymore, sadly. So I just have to exit and leave or else I run out of fuel and die? I'm just too used to easy mode because of that one run. That's right. So used to easy mode now. Hmm. Two fuel, three health, 64 scrap. Hey, Lurgy off. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate the four months, my friend. I'm gonna go here. Such an inefficient thing to do, but. Damn. <laughs> Look at this ship. That is a one, two, three, four, five, six power weapon system with cloaking and three shields in sector four. <sighs> cool, man. Cool. Who needs to gamble? Just go to the exit beacon and die. You know? That's that's all you need to do. Just go to the exit beacon and die. Yeah, <laughs> first volley. Wow, what a run. For Slug B, I actually thought this started out pretty decent. Because we got boarding upgraded and then... Alright, restart. We're, we'll give one more try on this ship. Oh, this ship sucks so much. Oh, this is such a... Such a kick in the pants kind of ship to play. Yeah, uh, I would not call that GG. I would call that BG. That's a bad game. <laughs> game screwed me hard there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how about more auto scouts for uh, Sector One? How about more auto scouts? Guess it's not free shield hack. Uh, Ion. So I need to do this. Good timing was good. Good. You kept your heal bomb in the last run? Uh, yeah, I don't think that would have made any difference at all, but sure, sure, should have kept my heal bomb. My opinion, when you play bad ships, you shouldn't be surprised when you don't win. Well, yeah, but it doesn't mean I don't get salty when you get shit on. I mean, I, this is just, I, I guess I'm not surprised, but it doesn't mean I don't try hard. That's kind of my thing. I try hard and get salty when I don't succeed, so... And then when people in chat say stuff like, <laughs> bad luck, <laughs> that's just, it just, it's just, it's pouring salt in the wound, and that's what frustrates me. One, two, three. Let's see if we can get some really good store here. At least it's a very early map. Uh, we were on sector three or four. It's not super early. We're almost halfway through the run. 
Okay. All right, beam drone. Hey, you can't do damage to us. Nice. Okay, so let's wait a bit. Turn off the Artemis because we don't need it. We're going to board in here because I think it gives us the best head start. The uh, reason people in chat have no empathy is because that is a trait common to all FTL players is no empathy. <laughs> all right, I could, I could see that. You missed the cap on the heel bomb coming. Oh, okay, okay. So you weren't being serious about me keeping the, the heel bomb. Hey, okay. Well, we might just lose and die here. Because he dodged. Waste a bomb. Oh, you mean on this sector we got an early map. We got an actual map. Sorry, I misunderstood your comment. Yes. I thought you meant that we had an early like restart from the previous one. You're right. We did get early map is really good, actually. One thing FTL players care about is scrap. Well, the problem is, you uh, chat not being empathetic with my playing doesn't get them any extra scrap, so I'm not sure what they're gaining by laughing at me. I guess some fulfillment in their in their in their life or something. Please tell me heal bomb can't miss on your own ship. It cannot miss on your own ship. It can only miss on enemy ships. So that's good at least. The one good thing about heal bomb is that it you can't dodge your own if you could dodge your own heal bomb, oh my god, that would just be maximum trolliness from the devs. FTL players are sociopaths confirmed. Sounds about right. Okay, this is gonna suck. This guy's got the best anti-boarding crew, because not only does he have a rock plus mantis, he has an NG to repair really fast, so. Okay, so what we have to do is not board immediately because we need to take out his weapons before we board. That's about the worst that could have happened right there. All right, we did hit his weapons, though. Um, so we do need to board, though. Uh, can keep him from repairing, at least. Ooh, we actually win that fight. Okay, that's good. It's really good. Should not be able to dodge here with no pilot, hopefully, unless he got value point and gets like 10%. Okay, good. We should have this. Good. I'll send this guy over. That allows 2v1. Do this and this. We want our borders to get the training, so I'm going to have you tank it. But let these guys finish it. Okay, I I didn't time the uh, I didn't time the the shield down right there. I don't know how to time that one correctly. I think it might have been better to not bring down the shield, and the mini beam might have hit before the projectile. It's it's sometimes hard to get that timing right, especially on no pause. Fails to dodge own heal bomb. That's what you get for no engines. Okay, great. Mantis repairs. That's right, Mantis repairs. Ethical conduct run, be nice to everyone and take all surrenders. Like the Canadian run we did, right? It's definitely a thing you can do. I have slug repair gel to sell. Last time at the first store I bought two crew to make it a better boarding ship. This time we have a burst laser one option. A glaive beam, there's the play. What do we got? We got med bay. Go for weapon or go for med bay. I really don't want this to be a boarding ship because it kind of sucks. If I do that, 50, 25, and sell the heal bomb. Oof, I could get it online, but then I would not have any way to heal. Sub silly device. Uh, it's either med bay or it's burst laser. I think I have to do this. Question is if I sell this or not. To get it online now, and I think the answer is no, because I think we do a little bit more boarding here. I think we need to do a little more boarding here. 
Let's go to the asteroid field. Nice, nice. Reach stuff is good. One, two, three, four, five. And that being two nebulas, we can go six. Possibly seven, eight. Yes, we need to gamble a bit here. Sell it all for Glaive. Wow, wow, chat. You just you just have the most amazing suggest suggestions. I don't know why people in chat always tell me I can't get I can't get consistent wins. And then people in chat say stuff like Buy Glaive Beam Sector One. I think I know why you don't get consistent wins. Like now nah, we're just we're just capping, Rand. Okay, okay. Oh, good dodge. Well, I hope this hits. Okay, that's good. Please hit. Thank you. Let's go glaive and cloaking. That's right. Let's just go ahead and just go ahead and buy that 300 scrap worth of stuff with 30 scrap. I'll get right on that. Right on it. Do do do. Whew. Well, okay. Kind of wish I hadn't bought that burst laser one now, but okay. If we can say something constructive, it's backseat gaming. Um, I don't know about that. I do sometimes get on to people for backseat gaming, but if if people will give a real suggestion, I will often consider it. It's it's how you phrase things, Alvarin. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. You know? It's how you say things. Holy crap, that's so good. You know, if you say something like, hmm, you might want to consider X, I'd be like, hmm, okay. Hmm, that's a good suggestion. Maybe I'll do that. You love whole laser too? Whole laser too, I think we actually did I think we did rate that pretty highly in our tier list too. Of the he of the whole lasers, it is definitely the better one. I might call your idea terrible too, that's true. <laughs> I might do that too. But Hey, if y'all are going to cap me, I'm going to cap you right back. That's, that's my only comeback, I guess. Whole laser 2 is almost as good as HL2. It, uh, is that supposed to be heavy laser? Yeah, you need to use your uh, emotes with sarcasm. I can never tell. I just, I cannot tell. God. <laughs> uh, I cannot. I just can't tell. All right, we have some choices to make here because there's some stuff going on here. Some choices to go on. Um, there are a lot of good options here we could do. You like whole laser 2 better than heavy laser 2? Lower power and more chance for crew kills. Um, 15 seconds, 11 seconds. That'd be five shots for five power. Okay, I think I keep the heal bomb, but I think I sell Artemis and go some sort of laser build. Can I even get five weapon power online right now? I can't. The the problem with whole laser two is the is the high weapon power cost right now. Maybe I should send you a Kappa cap so you can address chat properly. Okay. You just sell the heal heal uh, sell the heal bomb and get heal bay. I, it's not a bad idea, but I really want to get offense. I really want to get consistent offense that's not reliant on boarding. How to make reloaders really good with heal and repair bomb kappa. Well done. Well used. Good. Good job using the kappa. Um, one, two, three. I'm actually thinking maybe of selling this, the whole laser two, getting the heavy laser one. So we can go burst laser one, heavy laser one, or, or Artemis, plus one of those. This is a good weapon, but it's just too expensive to get online right now, I think. It's kind of like getting an early halberd beam. It's it's good, but if you can't get it online... Just a little bit of a waste. So we go something like this. Keep the heal bomb for now. Do I sell the Artemis, though? No, because we want to get that online, too. I swear, we're spending so much scrap at stores, we, like, can't save up to actually make, make upgrades. I know I just sold a f weapon that I got for free, but a three-power weapon is so hard to use early game. 
Well, three power weapon, that's only three shots. Because if I had that plus the heavy laser, I could get that online decently, but I, I would have... Couldn't have bought the heavy laser. I'm just... I don't know, man. There's lots... There's a lots of things... We, lots of things we could have done. <laughs> it's always a bad idea to not buy a heavy laser. Kappa? I would not agree with the Kappa in that statement. It's almost always a good idea to buy a heavy laser one. We put that as an S tier weapon, I believe, right? Nice. It's true, we are Sector 1 still, so... We are still only in Sector 1. Okay. There's no Kappa. Oh, that was a lull. Sorry. Lull and Kappa, I often interpret as the same thing, even though they are different things. All right, so I think if we just invest in getting shields and power next, we have a good offense. We get shields, we'll be looking pretty decent, but we'll probably, get, you know, fight a bunch of auto, uh, missile ships or something. Ooh, ooh, hey, a ship that can't do damage to us. Let's board them. Let's board them. Okay, so there's a breach in there. Okay, never mind. Let's go here. Oh, he's got a repair drone, though. Okay. Okay. Damn it. I don't know if I can get the crew kill, honestly. Uh, I actually don't think I can because of the repair drone. Okay. And with how much damage we did. Repair drone actually saves him from getting crew from getting crew killed. Could have won last run if you bought the anti bio beam kappa. Sure. Let's bore them. Sends an ng. <laughs> Crap! I should really give my crew O2. I need power. I want I want second shield, but I kind of need power right now, so I can just have my stuff online. Okay. Ooh, we actually get one, two, three, four jumps here. This is kind of an awesome sector one, actually. If we don't die here. Pike beam. Okay, doesn't time out. Double NG, though. Okay, we're going to fire once and then board them. No need for second shield if they are dead. True. True. Sadly, most ships don't just die before they do anything. Sadly. Okay, so that's a fire. As soon as the fire goes out, we board. Oh, it's already out because it's double NG. <laughs> as soon as the fire... Oh, it's, there's no fire. Uh, we'll auto-fire this for weapon training. One more shot to get training. Beautiful. Nice. Very nice reward there. Okay. Beautiful. Alright, so... I've already been to two stores, so there's like no way that this is a store. We also have a map, so we know that's not a store. So I'm going to do this value point and shield just in case one of these two jumps is the free shield hack. That only hacks one shield and not two of them. Oh, that's, that's a crew loss thing, right? That's a crew loss chance. We're ignoring that. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, well, a couple of useless jumps. Let's waste our fuel. Let's waste our fuel. Attack the rebels. Can't get through my shields. We could definitely board them. Um, let's go for starting a fire in the engines and then board. <laughs> okay. Let's 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 get weapon training by missing all of our shots, and then eventually we'll do something here. 
Damn, no fire or breach. Yeah, that's okay though. We still did damage to that guy, so that gives us gets us ahead on the fight. <laughs> Dumbledoges for days, that guy's got all them Dumbledoges. All them Dumbledoges. Um I need a heal bomb though. Okay. Should have had the heal bomb up earlier, but it's better to do it this way just to guarantee we don't get dodged and waste a missile. So I'll take that. Uh, heal bomb needs a blue option. Giant alien spiders event. Um, I'm not quite sure how, what it would be. Does blue does heal bomb get any blue options? I think there's one where it's like heal bomb and flood their room with nanobots or something. Steel supplies, nice. This is why rebels always have support, and this is why we'll always have scrap because I take yours. Are there any are there any heal bomb blue option events? I'm trying to remember. Zelton controlled. Mm. Ooh, that's pretty scary choices right there. I don't have good anti-boarding, but I guess we'll go Mantis because Zoltan controlled sucks. Where the blue option heals the spiders and you lose the crew. Yeah, I was going to say, how does Heal Bomb help you against the giant alien spiders? Uh, I feel like that would... I mean, I guess the Heal Bomb doesn't heal your enemies, so maybe, maybe it could. All right, we need, we need fuel from the store, I guess. Oh, God. Mantis are on my ship. Okay. Uh, and you go here. Do this. There. They're low enough. We win this and get some fighting training. Beautiful. Okay. Quite a purple map this time. Oh, you, you mean on the main map, a lot of uh, uh, nebula? Okay, nebulae, nebulae, nebulae. Federation ship in need of aid, blue option, heal burst. Okay, so there is that one. I, I thought there was one, if that's, if that's the one that I'm thinking of. I got giant alien insectoids on my ship. Attempt to download. Okay. All right. That was free fuels. Great. We got suns all over the place. Actually, two stores in Mantis Sector is pretty lucky. No luck on fuel today. Yeah. Even with boarding. And I thought you were supposed to get more stuff from boarding. More fuel from boarding. Ugh. Okay. He can do damage. We're gonna go with this. There. I think we can get the crew kill. That's a fire. As soon as it goes out, we board. The heal bomb locked and loaded. Do, 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 do. I think we win this without having to heal bomb now. Which would be more efficient if I don't. Got him. Nice. Ooh! Free rock crew! Nice! Nice! That is huge, man. That is huge. Uh, it takes skill to do all this with no pause. It takes practice, that's for sure. Definitely takes practice. No, 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 uh, training, but I do that. Medbot dispersal and teleporter also work. Difference is Medbot gives you crew with shield training. Teleporter gives you crew with combat training and heal gives you crew with engine training. You're talking about an event, Fuzzy Penguin? Okay. 
The ship would be a lot more fun if it started with my control. It would. And it would make sense with the with the slugs, too. This is I just I don't understand the idea behind this ship. It's just weird ship build design. The idea was to troll troll user. Oh, halberd beam's good. Can't afford it. I need fuel and I need to get shields and I want to get this Artemis online. And clone bay would be really good too. Uh, if I get clone bay, I can't get shields. If if I get clone bay and shell sell heal bomb, I could get shields. I have ten scrap left over for fuel. Let's do that. Clone bay is really helpful. Probably don't have power for that, but. We can depower O2 and engines and get uh, get shields online. Let's go with that. Clone Bay, Clone Bay is really a huge pickup for this ship. I can sell the Artemis. No, I actually want to use the Artemis. It's for one power. It's probably the best missile. Well, obviously for one power it's the best missile. But for one power it's actually a pretty darn good weapon. He can't do damage to us, so probably gonna board here. Actually, we're 100% gonna board here. He kills heal bay. Fire, fire, beautiful. Slug, don't fight in the fire. The mantis, rock me. Well, at least for a little bit. Eh, okay, we just lose. <laughs> Well, Mantis apparently have learned how to fight in fires. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's go finish up with these two guys. <laughs> Fire spreads. Nope. He's gonna nope out of there. Nice. Uh, that fader out. Federation aid blue option you were talking about earlier. Okay. Medbot dispersal and teleporter also work for the medbay blue option. Okay. That's the same thing that the blue heal burst works for. Okay. This is why uh, heavy laser is triple S tier. I don't know about triple S tier. I think I have it at S tier. The, the thing, the reason I don't think you can call it triple S tier is because it needs support it needs support but it is definitely s tier i agree um do i go into a place with solar flares heavy laser goes with anything it doesn't go with like a single missile <laughs> but you're you're right you're right it's it's really good i'm not i'm not trying to argue with you that it's not good it's it's amazing. I just I don't think it's I don't think it's triple S tier. It does go with most anything. <sighs> oh god. I don't wanna one V three you. It does even if you have an yeah. If, if you have another flak verse 2, but you have to have those things, so... Like... It's 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 really amazing. It is really amazing. I'm not gonna argue. It's just... It's an amazing weapon. Absolutely. Totally agree. Not gonna be, like... Contrarian here or something. I need my clone bay to not... Damn it, he dodged it! Freaking hell! Ah, I could have got the crew kill if he hadn't dodged it. If he hadn't moved. Stupid thing. How A tier wasn't good enough, so people added S tier. Then we had to go double S and now triple S apparently. Yeah. What are some triple S weapons? Well, again, in my description, my title has our uh, tier list. I only went to S tier, or double S tier, I think. And my double S tier weapons were Halberd and Advanced Flak. Uh, 
Um, okay, I guess I'll take out distress. Okay, we have clone bay for this. All right. Slug didn't fight in the fire. It was always burning till the rock was turning. <laughs> Slug didn't fight in the fire. It was always burning till the mantis turning. Right open, we got clone bay. Eh, it's a human. Not the best, but that's okay. No training on that human. I mean, he's as good as a slug for boarding, right? So I guess I put him here. Alright, so I got store and an exit, I guess. This is not a great sector. Whew, look at that pre-igniter that I cannot buy. Man, I need scrap. Why can't I get any scrap, man? Freaking boarding and stuff and just getting no rewards. As good as a slug. Okay, maybe I should say as bad as a slug. <laughs> I can get Smith out of him. It's true. If we get that event, we can get Agent Smith. Or Robert Smith or whatever hell's name is. Hmm. I guess I just, I guess I just buy fuel. What a terrible sector this was. Humans are amazing, no kappa. You left off your cap. I'm going to sell all drone parts. I need scrap right now. I need scrap. Nebula or Zoltan controlled? God, what are these choices? No, I don't want Zoltan controlled. Sell everything for pre-igniter. Sell all your weapons for pre-igniter. Kappa. Kappa. I want this weapon plus power. So look at all the stores. You know, when you got no scrap, that's when they just throw the stores at you. Multiverse, at least they have some blue options. Yeah, yeah. I was I was very surprised by the human blue options we got. In uh, in multiverse, nice change of pace. All right, more empty jumps with nothing in them. What a great run! Look at look at this amazing streamer luck. I love how people will say streamer luck when I'm when I do get one lucky thing, and then I get like six empty jumps, and nobody says anything about freaking streamer luck. Uh, I'm just like out of fuel, drifting, chase them. Hey, they didn't get away, but they have a missile and heal base. So this is going to be tough. You've got two shields. Oh, good. No doges. Ugh, but our weapons are offline. Let's do Artemis here. Frickin' missiles, man. Frickin' missiles. Okay, we got the missile offline. Good. Alright. There. Go here. There's a fire in there. There's a breach in there. Okay. Uh, oh, crap. I was gonna... I need power. Damn it. Okay, good. All right, looks like we win this now. Triple S tier is where things like snakes and cockroaches go. What the hell does that sentence even mean? Selling drone parts event is the biggest ripoff in the entire game. Uh, what are you saying for the amount of scrap you get for the drone parts? Is that what you're saying, Laner? Because I would say if you don't... If you have a system that doesn't use drone parts, then a bigger ripoff would be having drone parts that you can't use. Um, of course, because hacking is in the game and is the most OP system in the game, you you could probably argue that just getting hacking would undo that. But I mean, it depends on what your build is, I would say, for that. All right. Oh, because they go s Ah, my bad, my bad. Rock crew member, yay for free stuff. Scrap-wise, it's a ripoff, okay. All right, all right. Can I get some scrap? Yeah, or free crew, I'll take- Hey, how about free crew and scrap? I'll take that. Okay.
Yuck, a human. Hey, it's free crew on a ship that has boarding. Oh, man. All right, burst laser 2 again. Long range scanners. Okay, okay. Now we'll sell the Artemis. Buy this. This. Um, I need 35 scrap to get that online. We need fuel. And I need repairs. But one extra shot. We get one more power. We have burst, two burst lasers online. It's pretty good. I know that looks like an amazing pickup, but burst laser 2 is so expensive. Last time we got it for free was, was the good deal. Oh, God. Cloaking and a big, giant missile. My favorite. Quite a bit of info in Kappa at Urban Dictionary and Know Your Meme. Cool. Cloaking and a big, giant missile. Let me guess. You're going to missile my weapons. That's my guess. Hey, you didn't. Just my O2. Nice. Nice. Is there a fire? Yes, there's a fire. Board them. Ooh, nice. It burned down completely. Ah, crap. I couldn't get over there in time. Cell ship? Is that full of ninja turtles or something? What? Oh, shell ship. They said cell ship. Okay, cell, shell, shell ship. Yeah, I think in multiverse there's like some other faction or something. Some other faction that has uh, something going on like that. See, they can board me when I'm cloaked, right? Or mind control when I'm cloaked. Why can't I do that? Because that would be fair and balanced, and we don't do fair and balanced in this game. All right, well, that's shield, shield training. I guess that's something. So we do this, and we move you to. How many? How many? How much dodge training does our NG have? Pretty good amount. So let's do that. Shell can cause a burst of damage, and they take 90% damage, and they have nanobots that harm you. So you win the fight, but if you can't get out, the nanobots kill you. That's a, Is that a multiverse thing? She sells shell ships on the intergalactic seashore. <laughs> yeah, look at all this crew we got, and not a single mantis for boarding. We could have run one raw crew. I guess we can, like, swap these guys out. Whoever happens to have more health at the time. Okay. So I need power. And then next we go for burst laser upgrade, maybe? Or we save it for missile defense. But I feel like I want to get five shots rather than three. Okay. Shells are armored slugs. Okay. Well, this has definitely been a run where we've gotten all the crew. Nice. Good doges, too. Okay. So, I'm not sure this is a better run than last time. I feel like because of our weapons, it probably is better. I think, I feel like we've gotten these weapons online earlier. Well, we're... Sector 3, this is about where what we had last run, I feel like, actually. I feel like we're in a similar place, but maybe we have more health than last run. Salt should work well against those slugs. That's very true. Salt is their weakness, and I have an abundance of their weakness. Okay, his weapons should not line up. Okay, I'm gonna not fire so that I can get dodge training. Last run we met way too many missile ships. Yeah, with no missile defense, that's true. So let's hope we meet fewer of those. You do not spend scrap on crew, allows you to get a bit more ahead. It's true, I spent I spent 110 scrap on crew last time, which sounds terrible, but I feel like it was the right choice to make at the time. Maybe I only should have bought one crew, one of the two good boarding crew, maybe. So maybe I invested too heavily in that. That's why I don't like to spend scrap on crew, but sometimes I think it's necessary. Might have done it gone too too far last run. That's a burst laser three, okay. We should be able to board after we take his weapons out. It was the right choice, you think, but the game didn't like that 
so it screwed you to start over. I don't know. It, it might have been it might have been better to only get the one crew. It might have been better to just get like only the rock crew for blue options and boarding. I think I think there's an argument that I went I went too hard on the uh, on the crew purchase in sector one or two, whichever it was. Damn. I lived with one health, two health. Okay, we'll vent you, sir. And then we will move this human here, since he's full health. Uh, actually, you're full health. So we'll, like, just rotate these three other dudes. Yeah, yeah, hindsight. Hindsight's twenty twenty, but I think... I think buying one good boarding crew to go with the... The slug might have been the more safe, conservative option, and I went kind of all in on the boarding. So there's, you know, there's, there's, we could have, could have, could have maybe gone safer. Um, one, two, three, four, maybe, maybe this is a dive sector. I know this is always empty, so if I dive, I should just go one, two, three, and then dive. Because it's a nebula, we still probably get wrecked, but. If I actually get, if I get burst laser one, if I get this weapon system for the dive, I feel like I could kind of pwn the dive possibly. These are two ship fights with scrap. I think I'm going to take this. I'm going to gamble a little bit here. Every sector is a dive sector. Because it's a nebula, I feel like we have, a, we have a chance to get really strong offense here. And of course, he hacks my weapons with a burst laser two and a bomb. He's gonna fire everything up with my weapons. Okay, he didn't hit my weapons. That's good. I'm actually going for the hacking. I think the hacking is a better target here. I'm gonna get him in here just in case they do take out my weapons. No cloaking, at least, so that's good. Whew, okay, good Dumbledore just saved us there. Hindsight is twenty twenty, but foresight is fifty fifty. <laughs> well, that's that's a good quote. I've never heard that one. That's good. Two shield. Do you think I can survive? Well, I'm not worried about surviving. Well, okay, I am worried about surviving the dive. I'm I'm not planning on surviving. I'm planning to destroy them with getting burst later one online. That's that's the hope. That's what I'm hoping to have happen. Although if it's too, um, if it happens to be too hazards, I need to do the upgrade now. So there we go. Slug B for the first run is tricky. It sure is, Gosh Pingu. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah, okay, they offer to upgrade my sensors that I don't have. Cool. When you get hacked, does your current doors level affect how sturdy the room's doors are? I don't think so, Kawhi. Ooh, yes. Free crew. Uh, free. Oh, a free automated reloader and scrap. Oh, man. Now, now people will say hashtag streamer luck. That's good. That's really freaking good. There's definitely a 2020 sucks joke in there somewhere, too. You just can't find it right now. Okay. You're not too bad. Am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. This guy's- this is not a terrible dive, either. That's not what I want on you. Ugh. Okay, hit my weapons. Damn. Oh, crap. I- Friggin' move the second that thing. That thing fired. God damn it. It's got all the doges. Okay. And he's he's charging up his weapon fully every time too. Oh come on. God damn it. Don't kill my crew. Don't you freaking kill my crew. Get let me out. Let me out. Well, there's freaking dodges. Get where? Why do I not? Where did? Where? Let me go. 
Oh my god. Get me the hell out. Jesus. Oh. Okay, all right. Frickin' hell, man. So many people close to dying. All right, we need to... We need to clone some dudes. That was some... Crazy dodges by that guy. Dying with one engine. Lol. Thanks, Laner. You always have so many positive things to say. I never have an urge to... Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that positive input. That was a dive you ever saw, and that was... That was close right there. It was really close. Got a good chunk of work done on your next mod last night. You feel like you should get a finish this week? Nice. Time to slug repair gel. Yes. I don't... I think you're missing a, a verb in that sentence, but yes. <laughs> Let's go slug repair gel some things. What? Okay. Okay. Sky weapons are not amazing. We could maybe get the crew kill here. Took out weapons and clone band and see if we wanna see if we wanna board. Nice. That's a fire, so yeah, let's board. No, rock, rock dude, stay in there. There we go. Okay, clone base online. We go here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Give me those. Give me those boarding rewards. And we shall refresh you. Into the medical clone bay. From Uncharted to Slug Home. Is that where I am? I didn't even look at I was just so wanting to get out of there. I am in the Slug Home nebula. So I need to get level 202. I think Slug Repair will be worth it if it fixes systems after it fixed breaches. Probably be OP though, yeah. It's, it's totally worth it. The 30 scrap you get from it. That's what it's worth. So I'd love to get like missile defense online. We're just... We just can't get enough scrap. It's hard mode. Hard mode and we're getting lots of empty jumps, it feels like. And I need to get level 202 for that, that one event, so I have to do that. So we're just gonna have to, like, repair at the... Uh... Store. Oh, look at that weapon system. Big giant laser and a missile. Okay, boarding with clone bay, alright. I gotta go for weapons first. Okay, we got the laser offline. Okay, no clone bay. Oh, that's breach. That kind of sucks for us. Um, I don't know that we win this fight. Yeah, we got there. Hey, what do you know? Cuz Clomba, he gets one extra missile fired. Can I get out? Yes, I can. Get the hell out of there, you cheap game. Okay. Hacking is good. I can't afford it. I have to sell something. Okay, let me uh, let me fix my ship here in the meantime, though. All right. Get cloned, human. Get cloned. You do the same. <laughs> ah, the lovely sound of venting and crew dying. Not a bad store. I don't think it's super useful for us right now because we have to repair and... Uh, basically, because we have to repair... Long range scanners, and we already have scanners. Unless you meant to say sensors. In which case, we're not spending scrap on sensors. That is not the play. 
Yeah, I have fuel, so I don't need to buy fuel here, I don't think. Um, kind of want to get power and repair. Backup battery and repair, though. Yeah, how about we get this? Because this is kind of like... This is buying an extra system, so another thing for hacking to look at. And I really like backup battery. And then we just spend the rest on repairs. All three scrap or whatever it is. Okay. Yeah, battery is always good. Battery is super good. Hey, long range scanners. Do we want to even chase this guy? Holy crap. That is a one, two, three, four, five. That is an amazing six power weapon system that guy has. He's got boarding and heal, and heal bay to go with it too. Jesus. All right, let's go for it. I have good weapons. Let's hope they're good enough. Freaking three shields with this insane weapon system. Please, please, please. Nice. Come on, Doge. Oh, no, not, not good Doge. Oh, you're dying. Nice. Nice. Okay. Whew. All right. Took a volley. So good thing I repaired there. I just go right back down to 10 health. Why is it not also a slug blue option there to track them with their, like, heat signatures or something? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that should be a slug blue option, too. I don't know why it's not. At least no missiles. We probably took about the same damage as if they had a two damage missile, most likely, so. So, yeah. At least they didn't have that plus an extra missile. I mean, that's still six weapon power in sector four with three shields. It's pretty crazy. Hoping for slug moon event next. That's the one. Well, that can be free stuff, so yeah. I don't know why you would say that and then. Kappa. Okay. Alright, so I want to upgrade my engines. And then I also need power, but... One, two... Go up that way, maybe. Which one is the moon event? The one where you need to count the count the moons or whatever. Oh my god, Glade Beam plus Ion decline. Oh, thank goodness we don't have to fight that ship. Although, we probably get the... Uh, he only had two shields, so that we probably would have wrecked that guy. Still, freaking Glade Beam. It's outside Nebula Jump with Nebula Background. Is that what it is? Okay, so there's that slug... I think that's a slug unlock quest right there. Or is that the Slug Homeworlds events? It's a Slug Unlock. Anyway, that one. That one, I think, uh, with Slug, we be able to follow them, trail them a river. Okay, Burst Laser 3. We should be able to wreck this guy. Go all in on his weapons. Unless he dodges everything, but that's okay. Hey, we got a Doge training. Nice. Just swap them out. Oh, come on. There. I can't do it. I can't do the maneuver. No, mis no, no dolphin flip for me, apparently. Okay. I couldn't, I couldn't select the right person and do it correctly there. I want to swap out guys instead of uh, re-creating them or whatever. Uh, you're not great with slug events. You spent so long avoiding the sectors, you never learn them properly. There's really only a few to to remember, I would say. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like that. Remember that Slocknog, you do not listen to Slocknog. You leave and then he will join you for free. Right, free borders, okay. This guy's got some crazy lasers. Let's go all in on his weapons. Nice. 
All right, who are the highest health guys? You. Okay, it was definitely a boarding, boarding one here. And then we can send you guys to finish off this guy. Oh, I have to be very careful. Because they got the free hack on my clone base, so... Um, I actually need to not board with those guys in case... In case that guy kills one of them, so I need to go with... Um, let's just go with... How much health do you have? 67? Uh, let's go with you and you. Can't avoid every slug sector, lol. I can never tell, and you can't change these guys. I can never tell if the top guy's gonna go on the bottom or the b top. Does anybody know if that's... There was a way to tell when you're boarding... Like, which person on the teleporter will go where? Is it random? Because I... Like, my rock dude was on the top, and I was hoping he'd be on the top, but he was on the bottom. Is that random? Does anybody know how that mechanic works? It's one of the uh, one of the things in FTL that I just can never figure out, because it doesn't seem to be consistent. No, I'm not going to kill Oxygen. We kill him faster doing it this way, and I also get up uh, fighting training by killing him this way. Does anybody know the mechanic for which room slot and a teleporter your character will be when you teleport them. Does anybody know that? I think first spot goes to first spot. Well, in that case, it didn't, unless first spot... Okay, so then the question is, what's the first spot in the teleporter room? I guess the first spot is the one that when you go in there, they the first person goes into. So I guess... Oh god, that's confusing. So that means that was first, the bottom was first spot because that's where the guy was positioned, I guess. You found chocolate chip cookies, so you're celebrating with a GG cookie time. Nice. Everyone on every ship has an order slots. Depends on a design, you think? I think it has to do with, okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So on an empty room, first slot will be the top left. On a room with systems, first slot will be the one with crew in it. So... This is really confusing and seems really unintuitive, but what it seems like is this room right here, this would be the first slot. So say I was boarding teleporter into shield room. He would, he in the first slot would board to where the crew manning position is. So this first slot would board into this first slot and he would board and attack that guy. I think, I, th I think that might be how it works. God, that's a really weird mechanic, but okay. Well, damn, two stores, and I have nothing to sell. One, two, three, four, five. No, I have six. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to go to two stores. Okay, that makes sense, Albert, and I think what you said, that works with my brain and with how it looks like things work in FTL. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that should work. We don't get a fleet pursued double thing. Yay for empty jumps, man. Oh, there's lots of ship fights down here if we don't want to go to the store. All right, there's our level 202. This is why you always get level 202 when you go into slug sectors. Just do it. Just bite the bullet and do it. Okay, his bomb is still online, though. And it's a fire bomb, and that's a double fire. Okay. Okay, we're gonna kill his weapons before we bring these guys back. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please put that out before it causes damage, please. Please, 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 thank you. Look at this. You guys can get fighting training by just attacking a room. Very nice. Okay, we're going to swap out you.
Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, like we were planning on. I don't think we got four here, so we better just do store now. No door in an engine room? Never noticed that. Oh, yeah, it's no door in engine or auction. That's why people tell you to shoot auction to get crew kills on that ship. Looking in drone control. Damn, if that defense drone, I would, I would get that immediately. So if I bought this and sold combat drone, could I afford defense drone? 85 means we'd have... What, what is that? 36? 36 scrap? And that should sell for more than 15, so I think we can do that. Means I don't get much fuel or repairs, but... It means I do get defense drone. It's super inefficient. But it'd be missile defense, and I'd really, really like that. Comet sells for 25. I think we can afford to do this. I think. Whew. It's just barely one scrap. Okay. All right. Well, my math was bad there. I thought I was going to have like 10 more scrap than that. Okay. <laughs> well, no repairs for fuel, but we have missile defense. So there you go. God, that, that cost us 110 scrap. As compared to 85 if this came with it. It's so much less efficient to do it that way. It's a costly deal, yeah. I math like your wife. <laughs> I take offense at that, but you're not wrong. All right, engage the pirate. So the best, uh, the best thing to do is to get a crew kill on this. Problem is when I do the damage to the weapon system, I'm afraid it's gonna trigger his running away the second part of this. Okay, it didn't perfect. Okay, this is gonna be the best reward we can get. Very nice. Yeah, my math was way off there. I'm That's why you don't do math on stream. Just just don't do it. Don't do drugs and don't do math on stream, kids. Nothing good ever comes of it. Auto fire for training. Beautiful. Slug ship is long gone. Spoils from the cash in hand. But we do get high scrap awards. So I think that's the best thing there. Yeah, the 110. So I, I just... I had 111 scrap and it cost me 110 to do what I did. To define a room to calculate line of fire and crew fight, fire spread, hit colliders, etc. You need two values. Opposite corners, corner and size, and so on. Depends on where the room starts. Okay, yeah, I don't understand that. Okay. Missile defense that only sometimes works. True. That's true. But, I mean, 110 is cheaper than 150 for cloaking, and it's consistent. I don't know. I like defense drone. I think it is the only thing that makes drone control worthwhile. Stop doing math and drugs immediately. Good. All right, then our work here is done. Can I do meth on stream? No, that's, that's part of that... Drugs thing. <laughs> Don't do that either. You contend that defense drone ultimately locks more missiles than you can dodge with cloaking, but cloaking costs less over the course of a run. Okay, I will consider that in a second. Ooh, wow, that hit but didn't do damage. Nice timing on that. Oh, God. What did you say? You contend that defense drone ultimately blocks more missiles than you can dodge with cloaking. I agree with that. But cloaking costs less over the course of a run. Costs less. I don't know about the cost less over a course of a run thing. I guess because you're talking about drone con drone parts? I guess it's something to consider, but I feel like that would only be a factor to consider if you had hacking as well. Because uh, if you don't have anything else to spend your drone parts on, then I would say that would not be a factor that you would need to consider. You think cloaking is cooler, though. There you go. And if we're going by the high school mode of what's to buy, then whatever's cooler is what you buy. It's way cooler. The ship is back enough on the screen for DD to not be too bad. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's not too bad, but the other side of that is weapon control being a high-priority system and being on the front makes it pretty, pretty susceptible to, the, to that. Which, uh, kind of sucks. I want hacking, right? Probably. I probably do. Although, 
I might want mind control if my weapons get strong enough. Uh, I'm pretty sure the best reward for that quest is to get the ship to surrender. Then you can get double rewards. Uh, Sidvidius, that's... That's not correct. That's not correct. Um, the surrender is guaranteed. You get them low enough, then they will... Um, no, I don't know how to get them. Actually, never mind. Um, it's not surrender. You do enough damage that you notice the other person getting away, and you stop the fight to go get them. I don't think there's a way to get double rewards on that fight. Okay. Yikes. How about lasers and missiles? How about you have all this stuff? I've checked that multiple times, and I'm like 95% sure that the best outcome on that event is to get a crew kill because you get guaranteed high rewards. I'm 95% sure of that. God, this guy's got three shields and a value point in the sector. What is this? Sector 5? I guess that's not too out of the ordinary, but still. Come on, game. Please don't dodge everything while having three shields. What the fudge? Game. I've got one shot through and it wasn't my heavy laser laser shot. Un unbelievable here. All right, this guy's got, I have one, two, three, four, five, six shots to get through three shields. So he has to dodge 50% of my shots every time to not take damage. And he's done that almost every time. Okay, so that's offline. We can board. Kick his ass. Kick his ass, sea bass. Nice. Good. That was some crazy doges, man. The rock man threw a rock at him. Ducking out for now, Scottish Pingo. Alright, we'll see you later, my friend. 95% FTL means it only works half the time. That's true. So my 95% sure means I'm probably wrong. <laughs> my drone just paid for itself? Absolutely it did. That saved us at least... At least 4 or 5 damage, probably. If that was a 2 damage... Uh, 3 damage missile, saved us at least 6, actually. So that's why defense drone is so important, because missiles are stupid and imbalanced. Like I like to say. Um... Sun. I should probably get third shield now. Third shield and power. It's guaranteed high rewards from a crew kill, yeah, but it's also guaranteed if they surrender that you can chase the other ship down for a war too. I don't know how you get them to surrender, said Vidius, because if you get them too low at health, then it triggers the next part of the event, which is where you have to leave the fight and go chase them. I don't know how to get them to surrender. So, if you can tell me how to get them to surrender, I'll try to make that happen next time we have that that event cuz I don't I don't I don't know what the trigger is for surrender on that. Cuz I'm pretty sure the trigger for surrender would be them getting lower health than the trigger for the next part of the event, which is you have to chase after the slug people to get to not get nothing. So if you're going by the wiki, I I think the wiki if it says something about triggering or surrender, I don't know if the wiki is correct on that event. So I don't know how you trigger surrender on that event. The surrender is the trigger. If you get them too low, I'm pretty sure the quest test text says something about the the slugs have already gotten to the cache and they're going to get away. Do you keep continue the fight or do you go after the slugs? And if you continue the fight, you don't get the slug part of the thing. And if you go after the slugs, you don't get the win winning the fight kind of kind of thing. So I I don't I don't think there is a surrender option on that. And lots of games developers essentially skew probability. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that before. Yeah. Okay. Okay, all right, you have a missile. Okay. You have a defense drone mark too. God, my chest is hurting for some reason. Okay. Probably from arguing with people in chat about FTL stuff.
I'm gonna have to look up that event because I just said videos. I've looked up that event multiple times. And like I said, I'm I'm almost positive that I'd know every possible outcome of that event. And I don't think a surrender from the enemy is one of the possible outcomes. I've looked up that event so many times because I, I hate that you can't get what I want to happen on that event. Which is get both the cash and the and the person or whatever. Can confirm Rand is correct, Fuzzy Penguin says. Double missiles, huh? And I have drone control, so let's hope. Hope they don't fire at exact the same time. I'm gonna I'm gonna look that event up on stream right now just because I really want to verify. Nice job, defense drone. Do 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 do. That tail's bad for your heart. Yeah, God, I would say that's probably right. Hey, you shot the one going after weapons, so I'm happy about that. Okay, missiles are offline, but he's got two rock dudes and a mantis, so I'm going to not worry about crew kill here. Is slug slug calm tapping event word the one we're talking about? No, it's the one where the slug's going after a cache. Let's look it up. Let's look up FTL wiki. You can't see this screen because my FTL's thing. So let me check. Uh, FTL wiki. We're going to look up this event real fast. Um, it is the slug... Slug cache. Subscribe I can't spell. Slug cache. Uh, who did that? Ramsey's 2020 is going by fast. What's up? Eight months in a row, my friend. Oh, it is slug calm tapping. Yeah, I think. Raid an infamous and likely wealthy pirate ship in the area. Okay. Um, let me, so let me, so y'all can see what I'm looking at. Where's FTL capture? Let me hide that for a second. All right, you're right. Arrive at the site. Two slug ships in communication range. They don't see you. Quest marker. All right. So catch up the slug. You have two options to start. You can engage the pirate or head for the cache. If you head for the cache, um, you fight the ship and you can get maximum a medium amount of scrap. If you engage the pirate, you fight them. When the ship surrenders, this is the one that I was saying, this is a trigger. Uh, this is a trigger when you do enough damage to them. The best you can get is fight continues and get whatever the scrap awards are from the fight. If you let the pirate escape, you get a high amount of scrap. But if you kill their enemy crew, you get a high amount of scrap and resources. So the best of these, of all these options is killing the enemy crew because you get a high amount of scrap and resources. So does the surrender give a reward? Uh, it does, but it's, it's, it's ship fight. It's just whatever you get from killing the ship. Uh, well, continue fighting the pirate. Um, what, what are you talking about as high rewards? This, this is what I do if I don't have a way to kill crew. This one right here. You let the pirate es escape and you go out to the slugman ship. This is the most amount of rewards you can get if you don't have a way to kill crew. If you don't have a way, if you do have a way to kill the crew, this is the best reward. You kill the enemy crew, you get a higher amount of scrap and resources. I don't know which of these options you thought would be better than killing the crew, because there is none. There's no way to get the, um, to get the cash and get the thing. So. But you can't actually get the cash. So what I said was correct. Killing the crew is the best possible rewards you can get for that event. As far as I can tell. Yes, it's FTL school in session. That's right. That's what it is. Negative, I am a meat popsicle. <laughs> Your line of thought was a surrender reward plus cash reward. That does not exist. That does not happen. That is where I'm saying FTL wiki is not wrong. It just doesn't say. You can't, you can't get that. What you want to happen does not happen. 
And I'm with you because I wish it happened, but it doesn't happen. I guess we're going to do this. Great job, defense drone. Way to be a piece of crap. Just, just wonderful. Okay, good. Nothing there, so we don't... Uh, nope, defense drone needs to be on. So we do this, this, and this. I don't usually do that, but when people argue about stuff like that, I'm like... When it's, when it's something that I've done like a thousand times, I have to show that I'm not just making crap up. Yeah, I know it's lame, Sid Vidius. I know, but that's FTL. <laughs> FTL is lame and stupid <laughs> a lot of the times. That's one of those events where it's kind of lame and stupid. Where you literally can't ever get the cash, basically. The cash is a rule, or is a... What is, the, what is that term? It's a red herring or whatever. It's a reward you can never get. Red herring. And that's what it is. Yeah, surrender. Surrender doesn't give no rewards. Uh, if you accept, uh, I don't know. You keep saying surrender. It's. <laughs> Let me look at it again. <sighs> when the ship surrenders, you continue fighting this pirate. There, it's not no rewards. When the ship surrenders, you either fight or you go after the slugman ship. There's no surrender rewards. The ship doesn't actually ever surrender. You either kill them, or you leave and get the slugman ship. There's no sur I, even though it says surrender, it's not an actual surrender in, in that in that event chain. They don't actually surrender. You either kill them, or you go after the ship. Uh, says his mental state. Okay, nothing there. Okay, let's see here. I am really uh, close to dying, so I need a store pretty bad. Yeah, even though it says surrender, you don't, it doesn't actually ever surrender. It says surrender, but you either kill them or you go after the slug thing. So, if you accept their surrender, you're basically going to get the cash, and you split the cash, basically. The only way to get the cash is you split it with the slugs. There's no way to get the cash and whatever else. God, like heartburn or something. God, what's wrong? FTL giving me heartburn, man. Ouch. Oh, that's a good dodge. Was that Charlie event? No, that's the uh, slug um, tapping their comms event or whatever. Let me stand up and stretch real quick. I don't know why. I, it's like chest heartburn or something real quick. I'm going to go turn on my AC as well because it's hot in here. I'll be right back, my friends. And I'll tell y'all, sitting in front of a in, a, in a, in a uncomfortable office chair in front of a computer for six plus hours a day is probably really bad for the human body. I really do need that new chair that's coming in. I remember reading a, an article about a, a Twitch streamer who was trying to make it. And he was like streaming ridiculously long hours and he ended up, his health just deteriorated and he died from just not taking care of himself. So, take care of yourself out there. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm okay. I think it's just heartburn, but I, you got to you got to take breaks and stuff when you in front of a computer for so many hours in a day. That's why I take my break every 2 hours. I probably I might need to start taking breaks more often possibly just to 
Just to stand up and stretch and all that stuff. All right, no hacking. Breach two bombs, good. Getting on online might be a challenge, though. All right. Um, I do need something else. Today you read an article that sitting more than 4.5 hours raised your risk for diabetes, hypertension, and the like. Yeah, yeah. Do I want to invest in this? Ions doable? Well, it's one power. It's true. It's something I get online right now. If I'm going to get anything here, I think it would be the Breach 2. There's another store, though. I don't think any of these options are good enough to invest in. So I'm going to I'm going to go here and then check the other store and then distress and exit. I had an earlier saltier run that ran on sector 3 probably part of what I just felt. Oh yeah. <laughs> this runs also going longer because we had that failed run. That's a great buy bribe. So I haven't had my break yet, so that might be another reason. <clears throat> Need my stretch break. There's a whole laser too. We sold one earlier. Definitely an upgrade from the Burst Laser 1. Could I buy that, sell the Burst Laser 1, and get this online? That would be an extra shot. 75. 79. Yeah, we can make that happen. Let's do it. Sold it earlier. Now's the time to get it going. Now's the time to make whole laser happen. Stop trying to make whole laser happen. Oh, wait. It's time to make whole laser happen. One power. There we go. Burst Laser 2, whole laser 2, heavy laser 1. That's some, that's some pew pew right there. Oh, I didn't mean to heal. I meant to get fuel. Whoops. All right, that's fine. Omeprazol sounds like Omepredex you're getting. Probably different brands. What is that? Is that for heartburn stuff or what? Ooh, that guy's got pretty good weapons. Um, let's shoot the weapons and then board him though. Fire beam was rock boarding. Second opportunity. It's a great opportunity to skip and not take. I'll, I'll take that opportunity to not do that. I'll go ahead and not do that. Could you please not die? I'll do my best, Rabanasis, to not die. I don't think I'm in danger of that. I was just... When you get old, and I'm freaking 39 years old, your body... Can't digest things as well, so you can't eat as much stuff, and it has things like heartburn and other crap that you gotta deal with. And I'm old, and I've gotta deal with that crap. People who die are cowards, that's right. Just give up on living, you cowards. I'm not planning on dying. And I work out like five days a week, so like I, I do my best to take care of myself, but still, sitting in front of the computer as much as I do is not, not the best for your health, that's for sure. Okay, yeah, let's do that. 42 and Crohn's here. 100% can confirm. I'm lucky to not have something like Crohn's. I'm actually a relatively healthy person myself, but... Uh, and so you're even... Probably have more, way more challenges than I have to deal with. Now planning on dying? You got news for me? Well, that's true. It's true. You... Not many people probably plan on that. Oh god, can I get there in time? Okay, human got there. Good. Okay, that's a good dodge on the bomb. He's trying to run. He's got clone bay. Good. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Flak by itself almost did damage. I should have had the dodge up, though. That was my bad. Okay. Oh, wow. Hole smasher run, anybody? Wait, this ship is really supposed to not have doors on engine and O2 room? Yeah, that... Is that that same slug ship? It's, yeah, it... I don't know if they did it on purpose, but it's kind of a meme, that ship. You heard being born also raises your risk of dying, like from zero to zero... Zero to 100%. That's right. Omeprozole is an H2 receptor inhibitor. basically tells your stomach to stop producing as much acid. Ah, okay. I've taken some of those things, Fuzzy. I've actually taken some medication like that. The problem with those is they, they actually cause other issues too and for me it i think it dried me out and so like seeing became a big issue because i would be just super dehydrated all the time working out might not working out might not do you much good if you just keep eating at restaurants just saying um i'm pretty sure 
That's a incorrect statement. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's never a, a bad idea to work out unless you're really sick and working out makes it worse. So. 52 and still playing kids games. Nice, Ravenasis. You're in good company here. Alright, I only need two shields here. Okay. Pretty sure it's always good to work out unless it's the working out would do more damage than you would gain. Which it would be a very niche situation, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, he took out my frickin' god damn it. Clone Bay. Get that missile offline. Thank you. Okay. Using a missile to take out my missile defense. The the trolliness of FTL never ends. And this guy's got three shields plus a value point, by the way. Please don't board me again. Okay. You know that 100% of people that drink water die? That's because 100% of people die. There's some great stats y'all are lining up. You think he meant Corona? Oh. Tell you to cooking your own food might be healthier. That's true, but it also takes more time. And I'll tell you, I do not have a lot of time in my day that's not spent streaming or uploading YouTube videos. So, it's true. It's true. Cooking would be great. And I actually did cook tacos and had those four days in a row this past week. Um, and I had no time to do basically anything else. But yeah. What's your opinion on dying? Not a fan. Not a fan. There are enough garlic in your home cooking chat. You've not found a limit. <laughs> I actually have. There's been a time or two when I've, uh, I think I put too much garlic in a roast and it smelled so strong that I was like, well, this is going to be hard to eat. Okay. Um, so I get hacking. I have nine drone parts. I have this whole laser one. That would be an 8 power weapon system if I can get it online. Yeah, being a single person making meals for one is difficult. Yeah, when I make food, it either I can make food for like one day or I make it for four days and I'm eating, you know, by the time I do it, eating food that's basically almost bad because I've been eating it for four days in a row. Oh, what do I do here? What do I do? You know what? Um... Nine drone parts, it's probably just always hacking, right? Probably always hacking and buy the fuel. I feel like we're gonna summon Pie Boy with all this talk of food. <laughs> Alright, I'd like to get maybe whole laser instead of heavy laser next. That will give us one extra shot. Although we have the hacking now, so. Might not need to invest in that as much yet, but let's get one power. Okay. Yes, I, you're not assuming when you say I'm a single person. I, I, am, I am a single person. All right, there is the NG quest. Yes. Okay. For this NG quest, this is another one. Oh my god, look at those lasers. Um, this is another one where the best thing to do is get boarding rewards because you guarantee you get rewards from both of them. Oh, oh god, that hurt. That was like, what, three damage from his first volley? Jesus, man. And that was with me having 35% dodge and three shields. I'm pretty sure that guy dodged more shots with his hacking, with his uh, piloting hacking on that second volley than I did on his first volley. Um, when you used to be single, it was awful. You love to cook like ridiculously love cooking, but when you made food for yourself, you were eating the same thing for days on end, yeah. Yeah, that's what I do when I cook, and that's that's why I do it so rarely, because I like eating the same stuff all the time, but four days in a row is a much is a little much even for me. Uh man, do I even go to the store? I kinda don't want to go to the store. I need to gain scrap, not spend it. 
Serious question for you guys. Why do you make so much volume when you are dining for one? Okay, let me see here. I'm going to do that. That we back up battery level two. Because when you cook, most recipes don't... You have to, like, cut recipes on, like, a half or a quarter for most recipes, I think, to not... Uh, for when you're cooking for one, I think, anyway. I'm, I'm late on this. I'm super late on this, but there's too much micro. And hashtag blame chat. Talking to chat. Damn it. Level 3 piloting. Of course you do. Why Why wouldn't you have level 3 piloting and running away? Why the hell not? Damn it. I was supposed to board them. Okay, good. This is the fake one, so I kill him. Good. I need to board the other one to get rewards. To get the double rewards or whatever. Boarding the other one will give me the good rewards. I can still get the crew kill here, actually. Let's do that. At least I think I can get... I've never actually demanded, had it be the wrong guy, and then killed his crew. I don't think I've ever done this combo before. I'm kind of curious what the rewards will be here. The tech you're searching never passed through this base. Okay, it gives me the same thing that it would have been. So there we go. 46 scrap is a good amount of scrap. So that's really nice. Um... Yeah, things, most things that you, most recipes you find are kind of geared towards like a family of four. It's not hard to half a recipe. No, it's not hard to half a recipe, but even if you half a recipe for four people, that's still, you know, a recipe for two people, which is probably going to still have leftovers, so. Oh, Ramsey, here we go. Recipe's not the problem, just take a can of beans. There's more than one serving in there, and you use three, four, five different ingredients because you like the diversity and you don't want to keep it in the can, so use it all in one go. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't use it all in one go, then you have a half a can of beans that's, you know, gonna go bad or something if you don't use it or whatever, so... Cooking's, cooking's its own thing. If they run away with their crew on their ship, does clone bear protect you? Nope, you lose the crew. You gotta be careful that you lose the crew. All right. Um, so we need to remember that I want to board this quest before they surrender. So I need to hopefully not do so much damage with my first volley that they surrender. Just freeze it. Yeah, yeah. Just freeze it. Okay. So we do get both those quests. How many jumps do we have? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Rand is quite a picky palate. Let's applaud him for working out. He's probably not going to change how he eats. Yeah. Uh, when I when I cook like once every month and a half or two months, I feel really proud of myself because I do not like to take the time. And often there's not a lot of stuff that I like that I would choose to eat. So it's just, it's... Cooking's not for me. That's just what I'll say. It's just not for me. It's work and time. And I spend so much time working on stream stuff that I just don't have the time. That's 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 what I that's my excuse and my reasoning. Okay. Good job, defense drone. No surrender, you die. Where's the flare gonna hit? Right there. Maybe over here. Okay. Real life, you don't get coupons when you dump ingredients into your awesome sink. <laughs> That's right. It's very true. That's true. All right, so we need to go here, and we need to kill crew. Death Road to Canada, cooking, just cool it. Uh, you don't live in the U.S., you don't have a giant free fridge in place for an extra freezer. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna run. He has a heal bay. Oh, 
damn it, I meant to hit B. Ah, fucking hell, man. I hit N instead of B. Okay, that pulls the pilot. Good. That will hopefully... Uh, I don't know if that'll do what I need it to do. You know, I think I have to get them to surrender. Yeah. Okay. Just can't do it. It's an advantage of living in South America. You make some rice and beans and keep it in the fridge. Lasts a good amount of time and tastes good. Yeah, my, my ex, like, ate rice and beans, like, almost every day. I, I don't... I don't understand that. I couldn't eat... I eat a lot of the same things often, but rice and beans I couldn't eat every day. No. You just assume everyone in the U.S. has a giant fridge because that's what you guys show us on TV. That's pretty true. We pretty much all have... Every apartment complex, come, comes, complex comes with a giant fridge and a freezer on top of it, so... That's kind of a normal U.S. thing. Example chili. Use a pound burger. Can't find unless you... Portion after buying thawed burger and freezing it yourself, then two cans of tomatoes, two cans of beans. Yeah, you can't find smaller than one pound portions. Yeah. All right. Well, at least we got some NG sectors. Man, these runs we've been doing, I feel like it's multiverse coming on over here. Long runs, man. All right, store. What do I want to get? Uh, we're in sector seven, right? Yeah, so I need to get level 3 hacking. I also want to get this whole laser online. As far as you know, your beans are different. They pair very well with rice. Well, I'm just not... I mean, rice and beans is a thing in a lot of cuisine. Cuisine. Mexican cuisine, like every freaking meal at a Mexican restaurant is rice and beans. Um, I think a lot of Asian stuff has at least rice, and there's probably some bean things with some Asian recipes as well. Or Paratron's great. I only have five drone parts. Not so much for upgrading my offense. We're gonna do that, because that's like really stinking good. Oh, you're saying, okay, different cultures plus varying is always nice regardless, yes. But there's, I think, a lot of cultures that rice and beans are kind of a staple of their of their uh, cuisine. All right, I'm gonna try to not use. If I use a defense drone, I'm gonna try not to use to not use hacking. I hope we have enough shots. We have a lot of we have a lot of shots, so we should go and hopefully make this work. Good job, defense drone. Oh, we killed his crew. If I do this, I can probably get the crew kill. Come on. Oh, come on. That guy just dodged like four shots with nobody on piloting. Screw you, FTL. Screw you. That is 100% bullshit. That's so ridiculous. He dodged, I think, four shots with nobody on piloting. Okay, well, we just got a breach bomb for free. Okay. I sure wish I could dodge four shots when I had nobody on piloting. Part of the reason rice and beans are such a staple is because rice is calorically dense and beans have incomplete... incomplete but protein. Meaning rice and beans alone could do a good job sustaining a person. Cool. And they're cheap. And probably... Um, small amounts can feed a large number of people. Need a grumble dough, Gmo? I do. I do. Grumble Doge. Okay. Save the... I'm full up on crew. Drone schematic. Nice. Okay, two drones come in, I can sell. That's very nice. I just need a store to sell all this stuff. You love cooking with single at one point, never had a problem. Must be where cooking different meals. Well, my brother does a lot of cooking, and he tells me that when he cooks, he's cooking 
he has a hard time cooking for just himself too. That's he actually loves having people over because of that issue. Because then he can cook for other people. Wow, that's okay. Over fifty percent dodge, cool. He he loves entertaining because he loves cooking, and when he has people over, then he's not wasting so much food or having to eat the same thing for four days in a row, basically. So, I don't know. I don't know why you have a different experience than other people in that in that thing. I mean, for me, the best example is what I just made the other day. I made tacos, and you can only buy... The smallest amount of ground beef you can buy is a pound. Nice. Oh, that's great. And so, with a pound of beef and some salsa and guacamole, I make enough taco meat that I have three tacos a day, and I have tacos for four days. And by the third day, I'm so sick of tacos. But it's a cheap way to eat for four days. So, oh, that was the uh, NG quest. Okay. What's up, Bacon Ninja? <laughs> I need to sell stuff. I, I literally can't hold anything. Stop giving me free stuff. Stop giving me free stuff, game. All right, let's do that. I don't know how you cooked cook often for only yourself, but again, I'm not a great person to talk about this kind of stuff because I don't do it that much, so. It was a little early. That pull the pilot does not pull the pilot. I'm not sure why I didn't pull the pilot. There we go. Fire in the shield room will do it. Beautiful. Good. Uh, but taco week? I know. Taco week. Taco week's fun for the first half of the week. And then it's like, why do I have to keep eating tacos? Because I don't want to throw out half a pound of beef. Of ground beef. I know, that's some crazy cargo. It's actually kind of insane. Um, and we're in an NG sector and I can't find a store to sell it, which is what's really crazy. I know, full cargo bay, ready to sell, chance of hitting a store, zero. NG crew. <laughs> Why can't I hold all of these augments? This would actually be useful if that store that I went to earlier was still available, but this that is exactly why FDL advanced FTL navigation is so worthless. If you play correctly, you don't want to use it. You could eat all, tacos all day every day. Change up what's inside. That's my that's my problem, EOD Techs. I'm a very picky eater. And there's not a lot of stuff that I like. And in tacos. I I I'm just picky. I'm a picky eater. It's hard, it's hard to Feed yourself all the time when you're picky. All right. Mm, I'm gonna sell that. Use half the meat and freeze the rest. Yeah, but then I'd have to remember that I froze, and I'd probably leave it in the leave it in the fridge for getting or leave it in the freezer for getting that I had it. Um, breach two. I do I want to use that instead of whole laser one? Having a freezer helps a lot with leftovers and surplus ingredients. Yeah, yeah, it does. But again, this is this is all if you have the time to cook all the time, and I don't. I don't. That probably sounds like an excuse, but I really, really do spend a lot of time on my stream stuff, and it makes it hard to have other time to do any, anything else. Okay, uh... Probably we're gonna go one, two, three, dive. So I need five fuel. So I send your tub tech. What are your favorite places to get dinner? What do I order? Well, what I had the last two nights was I get the the wings, the chicken wings, buffalo wings from Pizza Hut. It's probably why I have heartburn from the uh, the Tabasco based sauce or whatever. 
Um, I will get burgers some night, a burger from a burger place with no fries because I'm trying to eat less fried food. I'll occasionally go get chicken, although I do get fried chicken when I get chicken because there's very little chicken that you can get in the U.S. that's not fried chicken. I'm going to not use a defense drone here. I'm going to purposefully choose to not use it. Ooh, good doges. I don't eat very healthily, I'll be honest. And every morning, I like have said before, I get a... Uh, I get a sausage croissant sandwich from Sonic. He's got two jobs, man, two jobs, yeah. Although my singing job doesn't do that much, but... The, 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 it's really the it's really the streaming. Just the amount of time I put into streaming. That's the that's the main time sink. Um, all your cooking involves the microwave. Your true problem is not that you have too much food and throw it out. Your throw it out. Your problem is that as usually at some point you decide to eat it all before it goes bad, and then you get a stomach ache and can't move for like twenty minutes. And that's not a healthy way to eat either. It's really not. So that's yeah. Okay, we're gonna do that. Uh, definitely the heartburn from those wings? Probably. Probably is. I get them at least once a week, and I usually don't have this, so... Just bad luck, I guess. Alright, again, because we're about to get a free repair. I'm going to not... Damn it. Not use a drone here. Come on, come on, come on, don't die! God damn it, I couldn't get my thing in there. Okay. Would I really get heartburn from? Frickin' FTL no pause while trying to talk to chat and play a very difficult game and not make bad plays. And that's that's what really gives me heartburn. Okay. Hashtag blame chat, by the way. Hashtag blame chat. Oh, wow. Okay. Fire beam for free. All right. You never have breakfast from fast food places? You had it maybe once or twice when you were a kid on road trips? Um, yeah, I like for a while I would go to McDonald's to get their breakfast. But yeah, I really think Sonic makes good food. <laughs> I know it's a fast food place, but I actually think Sonic stuff is some of the better quality fast food stuff you can get out there. I, I tried to make Sonic's version of a sausage croissant sandwich, and I can't make it taste half as good. It's always Chad's fault, always. Sonic's drinks are legit, legit. Their food's legit, man. Sonic's great. I love Sonic. Third option for rock boarding. <laughs> there we go. You wish you had a Sonic down here, you just tr just to try. Thing is, they play ads here all the time. They play ads, but you can't actually get the food. That kind of sucks. All right, uh, 93 scrap. What am I looking to do in here? Maybe value point in piloting. My drone part situation is pretty low. I'm hoping I can get fourth shield, so let's hold off and spend anything here. Spend on a specific, specific restaurant, the Sonic, by where I lived in Colorado is pretty bad. That's true. That's true. And I've been to some bad ones. The one in when I go to Texarkana is not the best. But the one down where my brother lives in the Waco area is good. The one here where I live is good. Okay. Ah, oh, big giant missile. Okay. God, I really don't want to use two drone parts here. Especially when I have hull repair. I'm going to use... Use one drone part for the defense drone. That's it. What I will say is this weapon system is pretty good for no pause. It's pretty good. I don't have to aim any beams or anything like that, which I like a lot. Please don't hit my piloting ASP, please. Ooh, that dodge though. Can I get a zero damage dive? That would be amazing. Look at all these empty 
empty rooms I can totally not take advantage of. Okay, I was gonna try to kill him, but now we're fine. Crew kill on boss one is easy with the fire beam. If you have hacking, I'd say it's easy. Without hacking, I don't think it's as easy. But we have hacking, so getting some crew kills might be the way to go here instead of the whole laser one, maybe. So I'm problem, same problem with where you are in Michigan, near Sonic is an hour and a half when you used to work. EMS whenever we went to the city. Your partner had to drive like 20 miles out of the way for it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'd drive 20 miles for it, but... I get it for breakfast every day because I just I just like their stuff. Okay. All right. God, I hope I can get at least one repair station. So, apparently, because I only see two repair stations, the third repair station was either here or here. So this is pretty bad luck. I kind of want both repair stations just for the drone parts, and I might not be able to get them. If I can get at least one, hopefully be okay. The onion rings are great too. I don't think I've ever had anything at Sonic I don't like unless I got something that I don't like, like something with onions or, you know, something that I don't eat because I don't like it. Store. Do I go to the store to sell something? No, I think we just get repair stations. Did I even use the whole repair drone? Not yet. It's for the boss. It's, before, it's because there's no way to repair on the boss fight except with whole repair drone. So it's insurance on the boss is why you get the whole repair drone. I could have used it earlier, but it would have been a waste of drone parts because you get a free repair going into the final phase, or the final sector. That looks like level 3 cloaking, and that's really bad. I'm going to have no dodges. Okay, we did get one dodge in there. Oh man, can I even get this shot? Nope, okay. Yeah, we have no cloaking. We're guaranteed to take damage during the boss. Hull repair is guaranteed repair, as long as you have drone parts, and that's what I'm worried about. Please don't hit my backup battery weapons or shields again. Okay, no shields. Uh, I hit my weapons. God, man. I, I have 40% dodge. It's basically 0% dodge. And he's got basically 100% dodge. Okay, freaking four damage from that fight. Unbelievable, man. There's the unicorn in the Sector 8 store. Yeah, we're, we're skipping the unicorn because there's not much we want to do at the store right now. We want to gain scrap, not spend it. If I can get both these stores, or both these repairs, I'll be so happy. Just for the 10 drone parts. Of course, I only get one. All right. All right, even if I got Force Shield, would I be able to afford the power? Probably not. So probably what I go for is fifth dodge, power for defense drone, and then value points. So I probably don't get fourth shield. Didn't I have a bunch of stuff to sell? I did, and I sold it in the previous sector, Fuzzy Penguin. Hmm. All right, I'm going to try to not use a drone part here. I don't want to fail and use up my drone parts. The only thing now I have now that I'd want to sell would be um, long-range scanners. Maybe fire beam, but I'm probably going to use fire beam on the boss for first phase. We get some crew kills, that would be really good. A for drones blocking shots. Could have gone for crew kill here. Just we're just a gunship though. Yeah, I'll show you my empty. Well, it's not empty. After I sold everything, I got another fire beam. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get fourth shield. I have at least two more jumps though. For the boss, so I'm not gonna spend my scrap yet. Hashtag swag firebeam now. We're gonna use it. With hacking, I can replace whole laser one for phase one. And get some get some really good crew kills. Hacking shields doing that. Alright, ten drone parts. What do you have? You have to double okay.
I sure wish I had do doges like the enemy did. And I sure wish I had a defense drone. Just FTL things. Defense drone shoots nothing down. Just, just lovely. There it is. Oh, crap, I just took away my dodge when I did that too. Okay, there we go. Took three damage. <clears throat> just slug B things. <laughs> Two hundred seventy-one scrap. So if I got fourth shield, how much power could I get? Would be the question. And I think I'd only be able to get two, which means I wouldn't have any extra power for defense drone and other things. So, just not sure if I can go for that. I have one more ship fight. Yeah, I wouldn't have enough power for defense drone. I think I'm going to do it, though, because if this one ship fight lets me get enough power for defense drone, we'll actually be in pretty good shape. Yeah. Okay, you have five shields, basically, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Nice, got it offline. Can I dodge? Can I dodge? No. No, 40% dodge. It's basically zero dodge. Auction's a privilege, that's right. You gotta earn your right to breathe on this ship. Alright, we got a drone part back, that's good. So I can get one more power. Alright, so how would we do phase one of the boss? Set fire to his missile. We hack a shield, we set fire to his shields, missiles, and... I don't think hacking's in that row. Um, how do we get our defense drone online? That's the question. We get one more power. We take out power of O2 to do the hacking, I think. And we get value points somewhere. Is it in drone control? Is it in piloting? Probably the piloting value point. The question is if I board. If I board, that's another power I'm going to have to use. I could take out the ion. So it's probably worth boarding. I know, I know, I know backup battery, but that's going to be used to get level 3 hacking online. So I have to do this to do defense drone. Backup battery this. Where do I get the power for O2 and teleporter? I got to take it out of, like, engines or something. So I just don't have enough power. You can use force yield as value point if necessary. Yeah. All right, I think I am going to board here. And I think I'm not going to use defense drone because I'm pretty sure the hacking that gets through would be with my weapons. So I'm just going to let the hacking through. I'm going to purposefully not defense drone until that. I got to take this out of here, even though I don't want to. Oh, God. Oh, I can't hit hacking with a fire beam. Did I hit it? I'm not sure. And two guys can't put out one fire. Cool. Cool. Great. Great. So far, no crew kills with that fire beam, so that's not feeling super good. out. I just shot an empty room. I meant to shoot cloaking. Have I got no crew kills? 
How the hell do you get no crew kills with freaking fire beam? Ah, oh, damn it. I think I got zero crew kills there. And I killed off my crew and my clone base dead. Just, just amazing play. Just amazing play by me. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, god damn this game, man. That right there is what I expect to happen when I use Fire Beam and why I don't like using Fire Beam as much as like Farb and other people do. That was that was basically worthless. Basically it, it felt worthless that Fire Beam there. I should have just killed him faster and taken less damage than use the damn Fire Beam there. Felt absolutely useless. Swapped a Zoltan crew for more power. I have no idea what you're suggesting, Alvin. I have no Zoltan crew, and I didn't have an option to get Zoltan crew, so I don't know why, what you're talking about. I guess you meant a Kappa after that. Yeah, you were like, pull my guys. I, I missed it. I was focused on, you know, the fires all over my ship and trying to f aim my weapons to kill their crew, and I totally forgot to bring my crew back and didn't realize my clone bay was dead. Just, just bad. Just bad by me. Just misplays. Just... Just no pause things. Yeah, I'm gonna horror pair. Don't worry. You thought they'd take a shuttle back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. Alright, so I need four at least four drone parts for the next two phases. Well, with whole repair, we should probably still have this. Without mind control, because I just lo I just basically killed off two of my own crew. I'm feeling much less good about my chances here. To be honest, without the without the mind control counter, phase phase three is gonna suck. Hack mind control, Kappa. Thanks. Thanks for another another horrible suggestion. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. Since I waited, do I still have a defense no, drone? No, they probably shot it down randomly, because that would have been nice for me if they hadn't. I'm not spending scrap because I'm hoping to get one more power for the f final phase. Still got this. Don't need to board. I don't care about boarding. It's 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 the mind control and them boarding the third phase. It's the scary thing. Okay, they have a lot less crew than they should. Somehow, they have a lot less. Okay, I think we must have gotten crew kills. Maybe my aiming at heal bay actually paid off. Nice. Still no doges, though, but... Okay, that was a really good phase, too. Like, really stinking good. Yeah, I didn't think I got crew kills. I didn't think I got crew kills last time. So, uh, maybe I shouldn't have talked crap about the fire beam. Kidnap strats, yeah. I'm gonna lose dodge for this, but I'm gonna do this. Because I think the mind control immunity on piloting is more important than the training, on, at least on the first half of this. So power. Let me have my defense drone and hacking online. Or I go doors. I want to go doors. Okay. It's phase three. So, I'm going to follow him, I'm going to activate one defense drone, I'm going to get boarded and then see how it goes, and if it goes well, we will not run. That's a good mind control for us. Okay, it's only one guy. We can last through the, the mind control. Okay. Let me see what this does before I spend my drone part. Okay, one weapon offline. We can handle that. Let's go. Defense drone is dead. 
I need a fire in the shield room for my whole laser is what I need. Nice. Laser's oh, back online. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna spend a whole repair drone. One off lethal. We did it. GG cookie time. All right. Somehow the crew kills on phase one made phase three way more doable than I thought. Slug B, we did a GG cookie time. Too bad we didn't have a monk to get mind control. That's right. Where's my multiverse monk? All right, that was a bit sketchy of a run. Whole lasers did work that run, I gotta say. There at the end, the whole lasers did work. Check the score. 57-12. I have a cookie. We earned it. That's a really good score, actually. My second highest score on that ship, this um, thing. You're getting less missiles damage without DD than with it. <laughs> Poor defense drones. Got one job. Just can't do it. Alrighty, my friends. Well, that was like almost a three-hour... Two, two attempt, so I'm a Sam Stretch, you're Russian. Thank you all so much for watching. If anybody in the stream, please hit the follow. Hope you're enjoying the FTL Harbor No Pause. I don't know if I'll get three runs in if I have to take two attempts on both of them. That uh, hope you all are having a good time. Quick six-second word of ads. We come back, we'll do another one. See you in a bit, my friends.